joining me on the couch this time is our part of our 7.3 Spiceworks release team. <laughs> Give it up for them. So right here next to me is Brian G. Say hello, Brian. Hello, everyone. We got Jackie G. Hi. We got Brandon S. Hey, guys. So, uh, real quickly, guys, go down the line. Brand, uh, Brandon, Brian, what yeah, do you it do? It starts with a B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what, do, what are you doing on the release as far as your main job on it? Uh, well, I'm trying to spearhead everything and, okay. and kind of gather all the, the data that we need to make the right decisions around the, the features that we're adding and then just kind of keep the train moving and, and okay. make the date. Yeah. Jackie? What he said, except for inventory and cloud instead of help desk. Okay. Brandon? Uh, protecting. The product, I think. <laughs> These two. <laughs> He's making sure that it has less bugs. <laughs> so tell. So for those out there who may not be doing 7.3 right now, or beta testing it, or even looking at it, so what can they expect in 7.3, and like what are the newest features that you guys are putting in there? You want to um, start? Well, we know it, it's it's wicked fast. We've done a yeah. lot of performance improvements, um, and he's done a lot of that work um, on both inventory and help desk, and just under the hood. Um, so it's so much faster. Pages load better. I think inventory had 40 something percent, um, page load is better, and you had 50 something percent. Oh, it depends on the area. Yeah, it, it was, depends it was, on the area. The minimum was uh, generally around 25 percent. Hey, so. Yeah, I feel like we should just be. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a little really crammed on this couch. <laughs> so. I mean, Jeff starting out but, the show about you know. his bar days and this. Yeah, I've got yeah. <laughs> So what are you guys most, so let me ask you this, how much of the latest 7.3 release came from feature requests or at least input from the IT pros? Because many of them always ask this question is, how much actual feedback do you take from them to do the next releases? None. None. Yeah. <laughs> we actually. Good, Brandon. That was, <laughs> actually, there was a, uh, that, that actually is a really good question because it came up um, uh, before we got into 7.3 about how uh, we probably needed to have a little bit more focus on what the users were saying, and mm. so we kind of made some changes within the uh, in the dev group and the test group and everything. And that's where Brian and Jackie can probably speak more to that, where we realigned our focus on some of the stuff we were doing, so we were doing more features. Yeah, to give some history, uh, in the past we kind of focused on different things, and sometimes it's been more company strategy, so there's been a lot of features around that. Mm -hmm. Other times it's been we really want to knock out a lot of bugs, and so we mm -hmm. focus on that. And so we're trying to move to a, a, a new kind of phase where we try to do a balance of the three. So we always do bug fixes, but we also want to make certain each release uh, has at least one user requested feature in that. And then, as always, there'll be company strategy to sort of features that we'll be adding as well. Okay. Uh, so we have we have questions from you in the chat. Remember, this is your 7.3, part of your 7.3 team. So got questions for them, uh, send them in right now. Um, so this is from D. Horsley Jr. So uh, did they make purchases easier again? So we added back purchasing on a tab and help desk, which okay. is uh, how it used to be in the original one. Uh, the thing that's still coming is the ability to kind of mark stuff as approved and then being able to do the RFQ process again. So okay. that will be coming out in a patch soon for the second part. But yeah, we are, we are uh, close to having that uh, really easy again. Okay. Um, let me ask you guys this since you work on the product, obviously. But Walrus King is asking, how do I get management to see the light and let us use Spiceworks? So what, what would you say like, if he, to pitch Spiceworks to the, his management to use it? I mean, this new, all these new features, like, what would be like, this is why you should be using Spiceworks? I'm a value guy. Um, the things that I usually look at if I'm trying to pitch that from, you know, sell that to anybody uh, in the companies that I've worked for is what are they actually trying to get out of it and how can I help them do their job? So uh, if my boss has some uh, pain point, some report that they're looking to generate, because ultimately they've got a boss that they've got to report to, is there anything that I can use within Spiceworks so that's going to help that person do their job better too? And if I can focus on that, I can probably sell it really well to uh, anybody in my company. Jackie, question for you talking about pain points here. Are, were there any big pain points in this release that you guys were like, like you know, face palming and saying, God, that was you know, a bad move or that you learned quickly from quick failures? Because we like to fail fast, fail cheap here. So, <laughs> you talking about our failures? <laughs> did I have failures? <laughs> um, Rob Dunn did ask, "Why are you so awesome?" So you probably don't have any failures. Well, so. he, uh, he's buttering me up for his next set of questions. He needs help with. <laughs> Rob's one of my favorites. Um, can I say that? Uh oh. <laughs> you just alienated everybody else. God. Um, you know, I don't know. I think. It, 
one of the things I, this was this was my first release like uh, from beginning to end mm -hmm. and I think one of the things I learned is you know we went through the beta and we had specific things that we wanted users to beta test and at the end when we entered RC and got a bunch of people to upgrade and they actually started using it it was a little bit eye opening to realize that even when people are doing things in the beta they're not using it the way that they use it in the real world and so we missed a few things and so like for reporting, my team redid the reporting interface and it looks really cool and all that kind of stuff, but we didn't really stop and, and look at closely at the old stuff versus the new stuff. And so we missed a bunch of, of things to make feature parity. And so that was a little bit eye-opening and kind of like a, a lesson learned is like, a, oh crap, how did we do that? That's just dumb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dumb mistake, lesson learned, we'll do it again. Cool. So. All right, let's get to some more user questions here. This one is coming up a couple times. Uh, I'll let y'all decide who gets this one. This is from Robert762 along with others. Users want a local KB. Is there, there going to be a local KB? Look at <laughs> <laughs> So what's the story, people? They're working on it. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. got um, uh, a different team working on it right now. Um, okay. I was actually talking with one of the developers yesterday about it, and uh, it sounds like he's making some good headway. As far as the real specifics that are going to be in it, uh, how it interacts with the uh, the current version or the, the cloud-based version of the knowledge base today, uh, some of those details are probably left to be said and we'll, you know, we'll communicate more of those as the project gets going. Yeah, I think, I think the thing that people don't realize is that moving something that's already out there to private, there's a lot of work that has to be done, not just the architecture of having the local knowledge base. Okay. And so there's a lot of things that can go wrong, there's a lot of things to consider, and it's a really, the, the knowledge base itself was a big deal and a lot of work. And so it's, you can't just in a couple of months suddenly have a local knowledge base. It's an ongoing project that we're trying to, we're trying to do. Um, okay. And yeah, it's in the works. Cool. All right, so again, the 7-3 team here is, is here ask, answering your guys' question. Uh, this is from Rob Dunn. Jackie, let's try this one for you. <laughs> I need any chance to export reports on a schedule to a file store slash folder location. Jesus, really? <laughs> <laughs> You just got the ability to like email reports on a schedule. Aren't you happy? Um, I'm sure um, this is a beta question too. Gosh, um, not currently. Um, is there a feature request and have it spiced up? Um, I, right. God, talk about being put on the spot. I don't like this show. <laughs> I'm never helping you again. <laughs> I like your question though, Rob. Like, the, because I mean, you're making Jackie uncomfortable. That's yeah. one reason. But <laughs> but besides that, um, the, <laughs> what, now you're not my friend anymore. No. All right. Well, Brian, guess what? <laughs> you got a new friend. Uh, um, I think it's a I think it's a good question because uh, when we're doing these feature requests. Um, there's a lot of them that we get, and there's a lot that we have to consider when we're developing the product. And we're on a, we're always on a time crunch to get stuff in. And so uh, sometimes we have to make decisions of, you know, do we have to get all of these components done um, on the first drop of this? Uh, and when we have tried to do that in the past, we increase the risk of the of the the release, and also it tends to drag on. And then we get a lot of people in the community like, hey, are you guys gonna actually going to release this thing? Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'll say, I mean, from my perspective, what Jackie and Brian have to go through is in deciding uh, what gets in and, and what doesn't into the first iteration is a really tough choice because, you know, Rob has a valid point. He's got a lot of things that he wants to get in. So, all right, this is from the Stewart here. Uh, will 7.3 be able to better handle large numbers of devices? Brian? Uh, <laughs> well, with the performance improvements, you definitely should be able to uh, handle more devices. Uh, we haven't actually updated what we think that that limit is, but it should be it should be much better because we upgraded the database, which added about 50% uh, performance improvement just for database actions, and then uh, with the other infrastructure upgrades, we did. Uh, Inventory is much more responsive to. Okay. Yeah, and it, it, I'm just going to interject. Um, for future, under the hood, we're actually planning on on redoing our scanning technology, which should be able to handle a larger number of devices much faster when all is said and done. And that's that's not coming necessarily soon. That's once again one of these longer, ongoing things that that we're we're just working on behind the scenes to to eventually get out. Okay. On the last last question here for our seven three team. Um, this is from Neil. Um, Sorry, Neil8736, is there a way of stopping Spicework from scanning Android slash Apple phones? They're, they use the same IP range as all other devices. Um, 
other than than jumping in and doing uh, some sort of exclusions on there, I mean, what most people are doing on their networks is uh, they're just chopping up uh, their network ranges with different subnets and things like that. That way they can isolate uh, those devices. You see it a lot with, um, I mean, Gretler's done this, and, and we see a lot of users that actually do this um, where they have a, uh, a guest range that they'll have in because there's so many uh, mobile devices that are coming and going on the network that you really don't want Spiceworks, uh, in most instances, scanning those because they're going to be scan errors and things you're never going to get data off, and they're not really all that valuable. Um, from a security standpoint, though, there's some users that do want to uh, scan those ranges to see what's going on and what's coming on their network. So it just depends on your needs. Okay. Well, uh, that's about all time we have for the questions for our 7.3 team. But uh, there is a 7.3 beta group inside the Spiceworks community. Just search for that group, and you can get your questions in there. Also, hey. beta group. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, support forum. Support forum. Yes. There you go. Thanks, Jackie, for covering that. Go to the support forum and put your questions in there, um, and they'll definitely look at them. Also, if there's a feature request you wanted, especially the one that Rob Dunn wanted for Jackie, um, spice that up a lot so she can be happier. Uh, so anyways, give it up for our 7.3 Spiceworks release team. Guys.